Hey planner babes, it's Mandy from Create With Mandy and this is the video I know so many of you guys have been waiting for and I'm excited and I've been waiting for it myself. So this is my 2020 Archer and Olive and Amy Tangerine collaboration planner and um, I'm going to flip through every single page. First of all, it's so pretty, these alcohol inks. You can't get this planner anymore because it's dated, like it has the dates in it, right? So um, you can't get that anymore but they have done another collaboration together, Archer and Olive and Amy Tangerine, and their new one for 2021 is just as beautiful and this, they have two different like cover options. So that's all awesome. Plus you can also get it um, dated or undated. So you have four different options to choose from. Um, so I will link that below. I also have a discount code with Archer and Olive because I'm an affiliate. It's Mandy10. I'll put that down below as well as my link to them so you can check it out. Um, they also have washi tape and um, markers and awesome stuff, stickers. Anyway, so this is that planner. And I got it. Um, basically what happened was I watched Amy Tangerine's videos on YouTube for so long and I just loved um, her content. I loved especially um, her videos where she planned in her planners. Before um, she planned in this Archer and Olive, she planned in the Happy Planner collaboration um, that they did together, and I just love that. And so I basically, the whole style of this planner is like an Amy Tangerine style. And I'll show you more as we flip through. So here's the first page. You can see I wrote my name in it. I did it with um, watercolor black watercolor and I just have some stickers on the side here that are attached using washi tape and I just use these stickers pretty often so I just kept them in the book here and I really just decorated um, however I wanted and it was cute. I have a page of coffee stickers because I had used so many coffee stickers so I just pulled every single one that I had um, or at least every variety that I had put them on an extra sheet and put it in here and here we go here's like the yearly view i put in a sticker that i made for my sorority and sold to them here is like the goals page i guess so your goals before the year um it says vision intentions dreams passions goals results didn't write in the results but anyway it was fun to write about that and just decorate with stickers here is the January page and there's a blank like uh, dot grid page before it and that will happen with each month and so uh, for this one I kind of use some scrapbook paper with the die cut and this one I wrote my favorite moments and places from January so that was fun and I drew this like girl and there's a piece of vellum on over top so that was fun this was really just like a lot of art and fun and just experimenting and just playing around. I showed it in the beginning and then I stopped showing it um, about halfway through the year um, because I really didn't plan as much in it but in the beginning were the best spreads. So anyway here's a monthly. I kept track of some stuff like when I drove my new car. I had just gotten it and in January um, when I went grocery shopping. I don't know. I just had these stamps and I was like let's just track stuff or whatever. So I did. And that was kind of fun, but I stopped um, after a while. I wrote down when I read a book or started a book. Um, just all sorts of fun stuff. And on the side, I have these monthly tabs that I sell in my Etsy shop. They're clear, transparent, and they have the months on them, obviously. And you just stick them in yourself since they are stickers. And you just fold it over, and then you have your tabs. So that's nice because the Archer and Olive planners and bullet journals uh, don't have tabs. All right, so here's the first spread. Love this one so much. I just use tons of stickers and washi tape and stamps and colored pens. It was just really fun. I just wrote what I did, like nothing even special, but it was fun. I love the color palette that I chose. And this is like exactly how Amy Tangerine does hers and I just say exactly I mean this sort of style just like maximal just like creative and fun but also just writing what you did 
just so you can look back and see whatever. So it's less of a planner and more of a memory keeper, I guess. It just doesn't have photos. So here's the second week. I did a, a rainbow spread, and that was fun. Um, so in the beginning of this planner, like I said, are the better spreads, I think. And I had so much time. This is before I started my business, um, and I had already graduated. So I was really just taking some time off before I started life. And I was looking at jobs at this point time in my life but I wasn't going to work anywhere so I had lots of time I would flip through a, like a ton of my sticker books to look for you know specific stickers and that's what really made it so cute um it's a shame that later when I got busy they weren't this cute but they still are these ones are just more special in the beginning so here's a spread um that I used uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. It's a lot of American craft stickers, like for scrapbooking is usually um, what these are used for, but I use them in my planner. I think crepe paper. Yeah, definitely crepe paper is the brand of a lot of these stickers. This one is probably my favorite. I love the color scheme. It was so cold this week where I live. 35, 32, um, which is really cold. That's the coldest it gets. So that was fun. I just love the color palette of like the like icy tones with like a pop of like this pink. I just, this is my favorite, hands down. We also did something fun. Like we went and saw um, hockey. We went to a hockey game. That was fun. Here's a little um, flip. And next week is black and white and craft paper. Not my favorite, but I use a variety of different stickers. Later on, you'll see that I just pick from one sticker book eventually, but it was still fun to like look through all my books and find all the black and white stickers. Now we're into February, and for this month, I just chose to kind of do some random stuff. Obviously, like some chocolate like wrappers, like some fun chocolate things anyway and um some die cuts and washi and just fun stuff here is the monthly cute these are a lot of these are pip sticks i was subscribed to them or uh, my boyfriend got me a three month subscription for christmas last year so these are part of the january pack from 2020 um, this one is really fun. This super colorful, love it. Um, these are all happy planner stickers, except for this one right here, but everything else is happy planner, which you'll see also that I don't use a lot of happy planner. I, um, tried to use a bunch of all my other stickers, like scrapbook stickers and ones that I didn't use every day in my planners. But this is the one that I did use happy planner stickers and I like it. I love how colorful it is and just how busy and... Surprising that I would say I like the busyness, but it's just like maximal and fun and lots of cute little details and it's almost like a little I spy and you can just look at it for so long and find new things every time. Okay, this is the one that's all pip sticks. So, so cute. This was their January unpack um, and it was all like Valentine's and this was Valentine's week. So cute. I love this self love club, just everything. I just love all of these stickers so so cute um so i really like this one this one i use bandeau stickers definitely in a different style than this last week i just used this like um i think it was a tombow food nosuke pen like a brush pen instead of like my normal like thin uh ballpoint pen but that's fun i like bandeau stickers they're really cute and like retro and aesthetic I guess St um, stickers yeah I'd say aesthetic is a good word and then this is all Amy Tangerine stickers really cute I love these just a cute spread and now we're into March this was like uh I think these were all pip sticks stickers but I think it's called like a sticker bomb or like a sticker bomb something and so basically I just filled the whole page with stickers and almost like a little mosaic with stickers I don't know um this was like the 
the March or the February pack of Pip Sticks. And they're all really bright and colorful. Not really my thing. They're a little like, a little juvenile. So I didn't love this pack, but like the January one with all those um, Valentine stickers, like I love that one. So it's kind of like a hit or miss, I guess, but I only ever had like one, maybe two packs that I didn't like. So here's March monthly. Coronavirus started, obviously, and then I also got my iPad, so I just stuck that Apple sticker in there. Still cute. And then this is um, a crepe paper collection called Sunny Days. So, so cute. So, like, very summery, but I use it in March. I don't know, I just did. And then, oh, here's the Happy Planner spread. I liked this one. It's cute, all pink. Uh, here's another Happy Planner spread, but I also used um, pieces of my first printables because I started my business in March. So here's a piece from my first um, printable, my floral printable. And then this was a free one um, called Homebody. And then I decided to pair it with Homebody stickers from the Happy Planner. Um, but anyway, that was really cute did the census and so it was fun to cut that out and put it in here because that's what Amy Tangerine does a lot. She'll cut bits and pieces from things that she gets in her life or business cards or you know if she went shopping and got a tag. Anyway, little things like that. Just cutting them out, putting them in so it's like more of like a physical memory. Like I did the census and filled it out that day. Um, so that's fun to put in there. And then this week was different. I think I was really busy. Um, or something but I just decided to do like a cluster of these are pip sticks down at the bottom this was just one sticker sheet from the pip sticks I just spread them all out it was office stuff or whatever home office and I just wrote what I did in little bullet points um yeah just switched it up that week and then here's the next month April um this was a free printable from you and I graphics and it was so pretty um, and so I printed it out and I put it, I put it on the back of this scrapbook paper and then put it in with washi tape. So there's some pink washi, some green, uh, teal washi. Um, and then on this page, I just, I kind of made it match and I used pieces for my printable and just wrote a little bit of stuff, stuff that I was watching. Um, and then stuff that I was cleaning, I guess, cause spring cleaning. And then here's the monthly my first stickers that were die cuts cute this little bunny is so cute next to Easter that's a pip stick here we are the first week of April um, these were a collection by Jen Hadfield I forget the name of the collection but that's just a, a designer that works with American crafts and so I have some of her stickers and this was like a die cut these are die cuts um, that I put in there. So next, this is from Maggie Holmes collection, along with um, there's two stick. No, this was a sticker set from my shop. These are die cuts, and I still sell them to this day. Um, they're still up there on my shop. And this one was cute. I liked that with the little animals. started listening to the office ladies podcast and I still listen to it now and I just love it that's a good one if you have watched the office um it's Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey and they're awesome talk all about the pod or all about the show and it's really cool if you love the office and you're like way into the office okay next this one again is a happy planner spread so I guess there's a few more happy planner spreads than I remember um, but now it looks like I start doing the thing where it's just all one sticker book. And that makes sense because I had started my business. So you can see that these are all from the same sticker book and it just made it easier, um, for the week. I just pull out one sticker book and flip through it each day. Because like I said in the beginning of this video, I would, um, I would plan as I go. I wouldn't really pre-plan. I did that a couple times near the end. But that's just when I got really busy, like during the holiday season and stuff. But um, it was just made it easier to choose from one book instead of like in the beginning where I went and, you know, scoured all of my books for um, stickers that matched 
uh, especially this one. There's stickers from so many different um, things in this spread. This one is cute and a favorite. These are all Pip stickers, or stickers from Pip Sticks. And uh, so, so cute, love the color palette. Just love it all so much. And then um, this, the color in the background is watercolor. I just watercolor in here. So that's another great thing about these Archer and Olive planners is that the paper is super thick and nice. Not like too thick, but like thick enough to hold watercolor and like acrylic paint and just to get real um, creative with it. And while we're talking about that, look how thick the planner is. It's kind of got nice and fat. Um, I think that's a good thing. Let me show you my newest one. This is how it started. And this is how it was after. Um, and it's really that thick because I've just put in so many stickers and everything. I'm sure if you put in less stickers, it wouldn't get that fat. If you don't like it to get fat and chunky like that. But I think it kind of feels nice and it's like very used. And I just love that feeling. All right, here's my first printable that I created. So I decided to make a whole spread using just that. And then I guess a couple of Happy Planner stickers. Just these like black and white ones from the journaling books. That was cute. And now we're into May. I had, um, these are all um, die cuts from my shop and here's pieces from a printable. But um, really got into my shop more and started making more products. Here's May. I did like a little washi collage, well not collage, but just layering of washi at the top and then all these colors and I think that's really cute. That came from Amy Tangerine or that idea came from her. Um, I really like this one. It's all bright and pretty and it's May. And I liked um, keeping track of stuff in here. So I guess I did keep track of when I drove my car, but that's only because we were in quarantine and um, I didn't drive my car for like a month or almost two months at a time. So I wanted to drive my car like just to keep it running and all that so or you know just you know so things would uh you know wouldn't just sit for months at a time so I did want to keep track of when I read, drove my car um I read two books audiobooks have the little cassettes or the little headphones really into listening to audiobooks while I was working here's two zoom calls that I had um, kept track of when I went to the grocery store, I guess just twice that month, because it was still quarantine. Yeah. Oh, and then I did little, um, snowflakes when it was in the 50s and 60s, so, like, real, um, really cold for May. And look, I turned in my squad application. Oh, another happy planner spread. This one was really pretty. Um, I used the vintage botanical or just botanicals sticker book. Liked that. We finished Sopranos. Watched that for the first time ever in 2020. Really good. Yep, just it's so fun to just look back and look what I was doing. So orders overnight, yay. Breakfast and Instagram, pack orders and go to the mailbox. Wish my friend Olivia a happy birthday. I bleach dyed a black shirt and it came out good. <laughs> and it's fun. Finishing touches to greenhouse printable. Hung out, watched Sopranos with Matt, and then read before I went to bed. I just love looking back. Okay, this is, um, these are all stickers from One Canoe 2, which is a brand um, that the American Crafts, like, not sponsors, but they work with American Crafts. So you can get their stuff at like Joanne in like the scrapbooking section. And then I did watercolor um, behind some of the stickers. And I really like this one. It's cute. Oh, I really like this one as well. This is a mixture of looks like some Happy Planner along with Bandeau stickers. So, so cute. I really like this one. The colors... These are my favorite colors, warm tones with the yellows. I really liked that one. So cute. Also, this is the day that I made the squad or I found out that I made the squad. So that was really, really awesome. Just a great week. This next week, um, this is fun. So these are stickers from this big hardcover book um, that I can try to find and link below. 
let me go grab one and let me grab it and show it to you. So this is the sticker book. It's called the, um, the Antiquarian sticker book from Target. We got it. Um, and look at it. It's a hardcover book and it's filled with stickers. All these pages are stickers. Um, in between are these like the backs of the sticker pages, but they're all full of like these antique looking stickers. They're really cool. Um, some of them are a little funky and interesting, but it's really cool. And um, my mom sent me this book in the mail. This is my mom's. Um, and that was like really awesome. When I opened it up, I had no idea because uh, her and I, it's not like we exchange like gifts randomly throughout the year. So it was really fun to just get a random package from her without knowing anything. And it was that sticker book. And so if I find it online, I'm definitely going to link that below because it's so cool and like different. So that's the spread I made with it. Oh, and here are other stickers from that book too. I just grabbed all like the colorful like sea life stickers and put them all here. The monthly. And um, I always like to use washi tape to notate like if I'm going on a trip somewhere. So I went to visit my parents. This was a busy, um, busy spread. I don't know if it was a busy week or not, but I just um, filled it up with stickers. I kept track of what page I was on each day of Harry Potter. I was really into Harry Potter all year long. I don't read fast and uh, you can see how much I read like in a day not too much like 15 pages you know like, it looks like I read a lot though between these two days like 65 pages but anyway um yeah it took me a long time to read the books and I still haven't finished them but that's okay I might as well continue this year so here's um one so these stickers are from sticky club which is another like sticker brand and it's a subscription service that you you can also cancel at any time and um, I tried them out for like a month or two. It was back when I was just interested in stickers but I didn't really have the budget to keep buying them. So I only got um I only got them for a month. But here they are. And these are like I think I got these in like 2019. Maybe I got them maybe I got them this year in 2020 but anyway, um they're cute and different as well. Here is a spread. These are all um, one canoe, two stickers. Cute. Like them. Um, I think they're really more geared towards scrapbooking, but you can also use them in a planner. Here's another spread using that crepe paper collection called Summer Days. So, so cute. I ordered my Cricut that day. Just uh, wrote about what I was doing, obviously. It's just fun to kind of look back and see. Now we're into July. More One Canoe 2 stickers. And now you'll see stickers from my shop because you saw when I ordered my Cricut, so now I can cut stick like sticker sheets. And this week was different. These are all stamps. I didn't use any stickers on this spread. I didn't really like it, but um, but it was just a fun change. And then this is Girl Power by Damask Love. So, so cute. I really need to pull out um, those, those stickers again. All I have from that, though, is the 12 by 12 project pad that has scrapbook paper and a little bit of stickers. So I guess that's probably why I don't use it as much because it's a lot of um, scrapbook paper. This one I really love, too. Such a good one, such a good one. Um, so mainly bandeau stickers, and then there's some washi tape, and it looks like these box stickers here are from the Happy Planner. I just love the colors, and I really love bandeau stickers. They're cute. Here's one with using all stickers from my shop. So that's fun. This is crepe paper. I don't, um, this is from Journal Studio. Yeah, that was like the collection for journaling. 
so so cute I just love like this aesthetic now we're into August and these are all the stickers well except for this jean jacket these are all the stickers that I made for my um, made and sold to my sorority cute August love these these are from the happy planner except for these quotes from the office those are from my sticker shop this is a cute one these are happy planner stickers just love the colorfulness of that spread uh, let's see this is Maggie Holmes so cute um, looks like this is the first time that I used, oh no, 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 the second time that I used a printable for my shop. So they come with these like date covers and the printables are really great for um, like a bullet journaling because that would mean these days would be more useful. I just covered up the days of the week that were under underneath there. But anyway, um, love that with the boxes and the cute um, like illustrations. Really like this one. This one's called Work From Home. I like the color palette, love it. Here's One Canoe 2, and then I use my Days of the Week stickers just to cover up the um, ones that were already written, just for fun. So that's cute, didn't write in that too much. September, here's where I started to collect all of the, um, you know, my stamps. This, these are like little pieces that come on a book of stamps and so I just peeled that off and they're stickers themselves and so I just put them in little barcodes but it's fun to see all the different types that I had used so I liked that September a little more blank some stickers from my shop um, these are oh I forget the collection but it's from American Crafts um, I liked using all those the colors are pretty for fall here I use the fall printable from my shop. And then this is, I started writing in gel pen this week. Back in the beginning, I wrote in different color ink, like whenever I felt like it. And then more towards the middle, I just started writing in black ink every week. But this week I switched it up, used gel pen. This one I used Happy Planner stickers. Um, and I don't know why I decided to do a Halloween spread in September, but I did. That was fun. Here's another one. I used um, this scrapbook paper, which was from the Dar Target Dollar Spot. And then um, looks like homebody stickers and then obviously colored ink again. October, um, you know, when I voted and this was the thing that I had in my shop. Just some random sticker. Here's from when I ordered from Bad Designs and I just put in my freebie that I had at that time. Those are cute. And the October Monthly, I like this one. It's really cute with some scrapbook paper and then everything is stickers from my shop. I don't sell these anymore because they're obviously fall and Halloween, but um, those were the ones that I was selling at that time. They're, it's cute to look back and see. Here's Pip Sticks, um, all Pip Sticks, nothing else. Um, looks like I didn't write in too much, but still doing my thing. October, this is uh, Crate Paper, Hey Pumpkin collection. So Crate Paper is the brand, Hey Pumpkin is the name of the collection. And this is from like 2019. So, so cute, I had to get, have all the washi. I think I ended up using up a lot of it this year. Um, and this is what I use in my October daily for 2019. I didn't end up making one for 2020, but I have the flip through of my 2019 October daily on my channel. So I'll go ahead and link that below too. And I use this whole collection and it was so cute. So, so cute. Here's the wild printable from my shop. Just all leopard print. And I love these um, like nude and pink tones. So cute. Happy planner stickers here. Um, so the store, why I did this spread is because these cats are so cute, but I just didn't want to dedicate a whole spread to it in my classic happy planner. I don't know why. So I just decided to put them in this one. Um, so yeah, that's why they're in here. Um, and then Halloween. Some this is some scrapbook paper from the Target dollar spot back when. 
along with stickers from my shop. So you can see this whole time that we've been flipping through, it's just kind of like a fun use of stickers and just writing in my memories and it's obviously so fun just to look back. Uh, pip sticks again for November, Thanksgiving obviously. Um, here's that scrapbook paper from Target. Well, um, this is a sticker from Target as well. Just wrote in a couple things. Here's where I really started to drop the ball a little bit, and you'll see that. Um, I mean, you could even see that before this, where I kind of had some blank spaces. But um, this is really when things really started to get busy. Um, but this is from Heidi Swap. This is a sticker book from her that you can get at Joanne. This was my birthday week, and I, I wish I had done a better job, but these are some Target stickers along with the star clusters from my shop. Clear star clusters. And then, yeah, you see here, I didn't really do it. Um, I did decorate beforehand because this these are all stickers from Bad Designs. They're so cute, a fall collection. Um, must have been just so busy this week and just had this planner closed the whole time, so... Did not write in it until, you know, there. Had my friend come over to help pack advent calendars, so that's why I was so busy. I think for this whole month of November, no, no, no. From like October, like from the midway to October through midway through November, I was just slammed with the advent calendars. Just working so hard, like packing them, making them. So yeah, there you go. Stickers from my shop again. This is like the um, Thanksgiving set that I had. Obviously didn't write too much, but uh, trying to write down all my memories and fun stuff. I really like this um, December like page. So this is out of like an anthropology catalog and I just love the A, you know, for Amanda. Um, and then, uh, you know, we have some washi that I got. And so this is all little stuff that I got inside orders that I had bought on Black Friday. Um, so like some little stickers that came on packaging, stamp from Canada, um, the back of this thank you card from Wild Moon Paper Co., the thank you from um, Sophie from Opal and Fern, the little cute Happy Meal sticker from Branches and Bobbles. So I love that little collage. December I used um, stickers from JoJo's Paper Crafts, along with, you know, a couple from my shop. Oh, that's from Branches and Bobbles. And then my winter printable. This one I definitely pre-planned all the stickers and then wrote in afterwards. Um, so that was cute. I liked my printable. Here is where I started opening my advent calendar. So if you're unaware, I sold an advent calendar that started on December 1st. You open a sticker sheet um, every day. I'm definitely going to do one next year or this year in 2021. But um, I had opened up, you know, six days of stickers. So I started using them here um, and just used the advent stickers other than some washi. So that was fun. This is a favorite. Um, stickers from Sophie at Opal and Fern. She is so talented. I just love her work. Um, and they're just beautiful stickers. So I used stickers from her shop to do this one. It came out really cute. Here's another one um, with her stickers. These, All these ornaments are hers. There's a few in there that are mine, like these trees and the stockings, the coffee and the boxes. But everything else is, or the ornaments are hers. So cute, I really like this one for Christmas. The week after Christmas, I just really, this one isn't my favorite, but I just, Kind of put a bunch of stickers that were in my advent calendar in here and um tried to make them a little like relevant like when i took the mail i think i got a coffee and anyway the new year's eve ones on new year's eve and then i started my new one i didn't end up writing in here um, which is too bad but that's i don't really care and there was this this page i didn't end up doing anything with but then back in march so at the end of the planner there was some blank pages and so back in March when I had my first printable, I just made a fun spread with it and I used the blank pages in the back. And I think I just wrote what I was grateful for each day and just wrote a little bit about it. 
I did it again in April with this next printable. You can still get all these printables and all these products in my shop except for the seasonal ones. Um, except the printables, I have all those still up, even the seasonal ones. This one I liked. Um, and then I created a couple for June and July and I never ended up using them, which is too bad, but it was fun to like create them and I like looking up even just a before the pen because it was fun that it's my printable that I designed. Here's pieces from that work from home collection. I like that one. And then for my greenhouse, um, greenhouse printable. I like those as well, the colors. And that is it, you guys. At the back, you get a pocket, and I think I've just stuck some stickers in there. I'm just gonna keep them in there as part of the memories. I have two um, stickers, die cut stickers from my shop. These are the more durable, weatherproof ones. Um, so you get two of them for five dollars, which is a pretty good deal for um, weatherproof stickers. But I also put a 2021 vinyl. I know it's not for 20. I know this planner isn't 2021, but. I just wanted to like test out the vinyl and just see how it stuck down and everything. So I just stuck it there. So that is the whole Archer and Olive planner from 2020. It's so fun to look back at it. Back at it. I swear you guys like sometimes I'll just find myself flipping through. Like I'll want to go reference like something that happened some month and I'll go find it and then I'll just keep flipping and just get lost and like lose like 30 minutes to an hour of my life just looking back at this but it's so worth it every time I just love looking back and so yeah so I have my new one for 2021 with my tabs in it already um and it's so much thinner it's really cute this one is not the Amy Tangerine collaboration I didn't end up getting that one this one's an undated 12 month um and this is how it looks here's the month Here's the weeks, and here was last week. But um, I think I'm gonna start posting these on Instagram, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So look down below for all of the links that I was talking about throughout this um, flip through. Yeah, let me know what you think. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.